Hi, now here we've got an example on working with log equations. We're given that 2 times the log in base 2 of x plus 15 minus log in base 2 of x equals 6. And we've got to show that x squared minus 34x plus 225 equals 0. And then go on to solve this equation here. So if this is something you'd like to try, just give you a moment then to pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll work through the solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, if we're trying to solve a log equation, and by the way, if you're unsure about logs, always check it out on my website. I've got plenty of tutorials on logarithms. Just go on examsolutions.net, okay? Now, with this example, you'll see we've got two log terms here. And when you're dealing with log equations, you've got to reduce your whole equation down to two terms. One, one term on one side of the equals and one term on the other. So I'm looking at these two log terms and thinking, right, OK, I can use this particular log rule. That is the log of, say, a particular value, let's say A, minus the log of some other value, let's call it B, is identical to the log of A divided by B. But the problem is we've got a number in front of this log term and this rule doesn't have numbers in front of the logs. So I've got to turn to another rule and that is that if you do have a number, say n, in front of a log, let's say in front of log a, this is identical to log of a to the power n. So it's this rule that I'm going to have to use first of all. So if I just write down our equation, we've got 2 log in base 2 of x plus 15 minus the log in base 2 of x equals 6. Now, we remove the 2 by saying that this is exactly the same as the log in base 2 of x plus 15 all squared. And then we've got minus the log in base 2 of x equals 6. Now I can use this rule here and say that this is exactly the same as the log in base 2 of x plus 15 all squared divided by x and this equals 6. Now what we've got to do is remove this log. I call it anti-logging but Essentially, it relies on this particular rule, that if you have the log, say, of a number, a, in, say, a base, c, and we're told it equals n, that if we remove the log, it's the same as saying that a equals the base c to the power n. So I can apply this rule here and say that, therefore, x plus 15, all squared, over x equals the base, which is 2, to the power 6. So let's just come down here now. And we'll box this off, these rules that you should be familiar with. As I say, if you're unsure of any of this stuff, do go on my website, examsolutions.net. There's plenty of tutorials on logarithms. But if we now carry on with this, 2 to the power 6 is 64. And if I times both sides by x, I therefore have x plus 15 all squared equals 64x. And now it's just a question of expanding the brackets here. x plus 15 all squared gives us x squared. Then we'll have 15x and another 15x, which is 30x. And 15 squared is 225, and that equals the 64x. So I've just got to subtract 64x now from both sides, and that gives me x squared plus 30x take away 64x, leaves me with minus 34x, and then we've got plus 225, and that equals 0. And that's what we had to show, all right? Now, in part b, it says, hence or otherwise, solve this equation. 
Well, we've seen that this equation reduces down to our quadratic equation there. So we'll just put x squared minus 34x plus 225 equals 0 down again. Now, in order to solve this, I just need to factorise it. It factorises quite easily, actually. We've got an x and an x there. And then 25 times 9, that gives me 225. I need two negatives there so that that falls out to minus 34x. And that equals 0. And that means that either x minus 25 equals 0 or x minus 9 equals 0. And that would lead to the two results for x. That would be that therefore x equals 25 or x equals 9. And you've got to be very careful, by the way, when you've got questions like this on logs because sometimes, especially if you've got a negative number, it might be that you end up with a negative value that you're trying to log and you cannot log a negative number. So do check that out. There might be only just, say, one solution if one of them were negative. OK, but in this case, both are positive. Both would give us results if we were to take the logs of them. So there you go. There's our answers.